In this week's Tableau Tip Tuesday, I'm going to take a look at this viz by Charlie Hutchinson for Makeover Monday. In this viz, Charlie is highlighting the, uh, the minimum and the maximum for each ferry and uh, across the, the time series there. And one of the questions that Charlie had in here was, do you think the minimum and maximum calculations are possible with level of detail expressions? Well, over on his blog, uh, which is a great read, by the way, for anybody that doesn't follow his blog, uh, he writes in here kind of about how he goes through his process, and you can see that he uses a video that I had created before uh, to show uh, min-max indicators, but that was only working at the yearly level. So I thought what I would do is show you guys how to take Charlie's workbook and uh, convert it to the level of detail expressions. So the first thing I did was download Charlie's workbook, and I immediately noticed a problem. So when I hover over this uh, this line chart here, I see that he's got two charts here, uh, one for the table and one for the line. The first issue is these aren't even sorted correctly, so it's a bit misleading. So uh, I would highly recommend that you try to create these in one chart first. So let's go ahead and do that. So I'm going to go to the seasonality chart, and I'm going to go ahead and unhide that worksheet. So <clears throat> the first thing I need to do is I need to return the maximum value. So let's go ahead and show the header here. Okay, so we've got our harbor there. And I want that number that Charlie had next, next to the, uh, next to the, uh, the, the, uh, the route. So the first thing I'm going to do is create a calculated field, and I'm going to call it trips per route. And we're going to do this with an LOD. So the first thing, so what I really want to say is for each route, calculate the number of trips. Number, if I could spell. So, <clears throat> if you've watched any of my videos in the past, you'll know that I like to replace uh, for each with a fixed expression. So fixed, in this case, a fixed. So I want to fix it on the route. And then I'm going to put my colon, and then I need to calculate the number of trips. So that's just going to be the sum of the trips and then close it with a mustachio. And I'm going to go ahead and uh, make that discrete because I know I want it to be a blue pill. So I'm going to stick it here. And uh, let's go ahead and format. Let's change the default number format for this to make it like Charlie's. So he had it at uh, one decimal and millions. So let's say that. Okay, <clears throat> so now we've got each of the, uh, and I think he had these as 12-point font as well. So let me change that to 12 and change this one to 12. Okay, great. So now we need to do the sorting. Um, so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to actually duplicate this field. And I'm going to just stick a negative in the front. Now this is going to trick Tableau into thinking that uh, it's a negative number, and I'm going to just move that one to the front. And magically, I have a sort descending. So let's go ahead and untick the show header here. Okay, <clears throat> so now if I go back over to Charlie's dashboard, I can go ahead and kill the this one now. So let's just kill this sheet. Let's delete that. Sorry, Charlie, it's gone. And then I'm going to go ahead and go to the sheet, and let's just drag. He looks like he floated all of these, so I'm going to just go ahead and make it wider. All right, and let's make it maybe a bit like that. And let's make these a bit bigger. Okay, we want to give the viz a bit of room to breathe there. Okay, <clears throat> so now let's tackle Charlie's second issue. So he's using table calculations in this view. So you'll see he's got this min-max table calc. And uh, he's, uh, it doesn't quite work the way he, run, he wants, so I'm going to go ahead and delete all of that. And I'm going to create a new calculation. And uh, this is going to require a, um, a, um, a nested level of detail expression. So the first thing I want to do is I want to fix it on the route and the month level. So I want to say for each. Uh, so this is going to essentially say for each. root and month, uh, calculate the number of trips. Okay, so to get to the month level, we have to use a date trunk. 
and I'm going to do month, and it's just his date field. Okay, and then we're just going to do sum of trips. Okay, close it with a mustachio. And now we have the number of trips. So let's go ahead and stick that on here. Let's replace that. And you'll see now I've got, let's get rid of his uh, color legend here. Let's kill that. Okay, so now you see I've got a dot on every month. That's because I've told Tableau, let me go ahead and synchronize, it is synchronized, okay? So basically what my level of detail expression here is, it's just returning the aggregate for, uh, for each month and root. Okay, <clears throat> so that's not quite what we want because we just want the min or the max. So now what I need to do is I need to wrap this in another level of detail expression. So these read from the inside out. So I want to take, um, so I want to say basically for each route and month, calculate the number of trips. Then for each route, calculate the, the maximum month. So let me just put this on a new line. Okay, so that's kind of the second part. So this part will be our inner part of our level of detail expression, and this one will be the outer part. So what I'm going to do now is I know I want the maximum value of these months. So what Tableau is doing with this max is uh, what it's going to do now is it's going to say, okay, across all of these dots, which one is the biggest? So Tableau, when it runs this query, the, the uh, route and month, it's basically creating a table that is that has uh, three fields. It's got the route, it's got the month, and it has the number of trips. So I want to take the maximum of that. So that's what we're getting there. And then <clears throat> what I want to do is I want to fix this at the root level. So for each root, calculate the maximum month. Okay, and I need to close the mustachio there. Hit apply, and notice they all give me the same, every month gives me the same value now, and it's always the peak of each line. That's great. Okay, so now how do I get it to return just one dot? <clears throat> I'm gonna say if the sum of this value is equal to the sum of the trips. So basically, if it's equal to the number of trips, then just return the number of trips. End. All right, so now what should happen is I should be left with just one dot. Let me move this out of the way for each, uh, for each root. So hit apply. All right, so that broke because we've now changed it to an aggregate calculation. So let's replace that again. And notice how I get one dot at the peak for each root. So if I scroll down, you'll see I get one dot at the each peak. Great. Okay, so that covers my max. So how do I do this for the min? Well, basically, I just copy this. And I'm going to say, uh, let's replace and let's do else if. And instead of doing max, I'm just going to do min. So in this case, what this is saying is, um, and I'll just copy and paste this text here. Um, for each route, calculate the number of trips, then for each route, calculate the minimum month. So let me make this window a bit bigger so you can see the whole calculation at once. And hit OK. Again, we read these from inside out. Hit OK. And now we have both the min and the max highlighted. Excellent. Okay, so now Charlie was using this field called highlight max to uh, indicate which fields were the highest. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to actually uh, go back into my min or max calculation. And basically I want this part. I want to say if it's the maximum value, if the maximum value is equal to the number of trips, then you basically want to make it a true false. So in Charlie's calculation, I'm just going to replace that. So again, this is saying uh, for each root and month, calculate the number of trips. And then for each root, take the maximum value out of this uh, result set. Is that equal to the number of trips? Okay. And let's stick that back on the color shelf. And there we go. So now we have our min and our max. Excellent. So I can go ahead and hide the header here. And that is it. So uh, hopefully you found that helpful. I will get this video posted. And uh, if you have any questions, feel free to let me know. Have a good day.